think it went very well. The audience was very, very kind and very supportive. And it felt like, it felt like a great night. I mean, opening night is always an anomaly, and you, you're there. It always has that extra amount of energy going on. I'm amazed it hasn't made it to Broadway before. I, I think Carol Churchill is a fantastic writer and wholly underappreciated. I think if she was a man, she would be as famous as Pinter. I think that's wonderful for Carol. It, you know, she's had a, a distinguished career. But she's very well respected and very much produced. It's kind of, you know, it's interesting to have a play, not a musical, but a play like this on Broadway. I think it's kind of, um, it shows how people feel about her and her writing. And I think the play itself, I think the time has come to have a play like that on, on Broadway. She's a brilliant um, artist. And um, I, I think she's very intelligent and, and intricate. And it's a voice that I think deserves to be heard on quite a big, big forum. I think it's very subversive and uh, really wonderful to have a group of strong women on Broadway dealing with political issues, feminist issues, and just the issues of working women. Every single one of them I respect so much and get so much inspiration from. And there's not a bad egg in the bunch. There really isn't. It's terrific. It's really great. We give each other a lot of uh, support and also, um, you know, makeup tips. A lot of makeup tips. Boy advice. Relationship advice. We talk about things that you might not normally talk about in a regular rehearsal process. And Lucky James, our director, was the only man in the room among maybe like 13 or 14 women. So he was privy to a lot of conversations that I think men wouldn't normally be privy to. I don't think there is a lesson. I think there are questions, you know. If you become who you want as a woman, do, do, does that excuse who you are as a person? I hope that, that there will be a, maybe a, a, a deeper understanding of what as many questions as, as a man faces in his life, many choices and options, a woman's got a whole bunch more and it all factors into each other. It's, it's a complicated life being a woman trying to have a job. <laughs> it asks a lot of questions, but I guess the most obvious one is what, it, what women have to sacrifice in order to succeed. What I hope is that I don't think that this is a play that is angry at men. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is influenced in that way really at all. I think it's a sort of examining um, a social system, um, the, the early, the Thatcher years and what those kinds of ideas were about um, power and what, what women could be in, in that venue. I really think that this play is accessible to everyone, no matter what their gender. Um, because ultimately it's about, it's about real people, real flawed people. Every character in this play is flawed. You know, that's a universal thing to take away, not just, you know, gender specific. I just hope people listen to the play and stick around for the third act. <laughs>